When men stop simping. See, I just thought you were like hella pretty. I'd love to take you out one day. I'm good. I'm, like, I'm, talking, to you. I'm talking to you. Like, what? Loki, like. <laughs> No. What's going on guys? Shaq reacts here once again. And this video we are going to show some wog clips of the worst couples I can find and when men stop simping. Now like my favorite clip will be at the end so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one guys is definitely not good either. Basically there's this guy he's pulling a prank on his wife saying that he's actually busy for Valentine's Day. And I guess his wife is trying to give him hints but he keeps dubbing her and keeps ignoring her until this ends up happening. No, what's going on? Golfing. Okay. <coughs> When you, the Tuesday after Super Bowl. Tuesday after Super Bowl, was that the, 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 the 14th? I could do the 14th. Yeah, I got nothing going on that day. Honey. I gotta, I work Honey. till 3.30, but I see if I leave early. That's hold on one second. Hold on a second. Um, I, I can see if I could leave work early. Um, That's February 14th, honey. Yeah, I know. It's February 14th. Um, you don't have any plans me, on that day? Hold on one second. I'm on the phone. All right, hold on one second. Um, I, I could probably find you know two more guys. Is? Um, you play probably at least catch nine after work. Do you guys know what day that is? Hold on one second. Do you know that I'm on the phone? Sorry, she just, it's like the minute I get on the phone, she just starts. It's unbelievable. But yeah, I'm good for that day. I, I, I'll, uh, I'll ask two of the guys from work, cool. see if they want to, uh, want to yeah. go too. Have I'm, fun. Golfing yeah, no, that'll be fun. Hopefully it's nice out. And this next one is definitely one of the funniest stories I have ever heard. Basically, there's this guy, he tries breaking up with his girl multiple times until he's left with no other option except to do this. I think it's one of the funniest ways to break up with someone. To break up with her? Yeah. She'd burst into tears. Oh, I can't live without you. How did you eventually break up with her? I pretended I was possessed. Like, I'd stand up in the corner of the room and I'd just face the corner, knowing that she was still awake, but asleep. And then another time I was just like, no, no, no. <laughs> and pretending I was asleep, just saying some mad stuff. Was she shook of stuff like this? Yeah. So, oh, so, so then she was eventually shooken. she was saying stuff to me like, did you know that you were just standing over the bed? Like, and just staring Acting at me. Acting a fool. Yeah, and she was talking to me, but I wouldn't reply. Yeah. So I was, this was a whole plan, by the way. Who came me and my friend, Me and my friends, we discussed it. We were How like, old were you? Way. Yeah, 20s. Hey, hey. And this next one, I guess we have these group of girls who didn't realize that a Tesla doesn't need gas. And a bunch of guys just walk past them without helping. Beer does the same thing, 10 bucks. And this next one, I guess this guy was not interested in this girl at the club, and she did not know how to handle rejection at all. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Don't explain. I once went on a first date with a woman. Like, I took her to a lounge. We were hanging out, having drinks and stuff like that. And then towards the end of the day, I was like, okay, well, let's wrap it up. Let's get out of here. And um, she went to go use the bathroom. And then I asked for the check. And then when I asked for the check, the the bartender or, or the whatever waitress, or I don't remember who it was, said that, oh, no, she already took care of it when she went to the bathroom. What do you think about that? Interesting. <laughs> Smaller move. <laughs> and this next one, we have the story of a guy, I guess, who caught his wife cheating on him. It was worse than cheating, to be honest. She ended up getting pregnant with a different guy, and I guess he planned out everything perfectly and did everything correctly. Listen to how she found out. I would have done the exact same thing. Girlfriend just gave birth to our first child. Congratulations. I oh know God. I'm not the biological oh. father. Yikes. And I revealed I knew as soon as she gave birth. <clears throat> I found out when she was about six months along that it wasn't mine. A guy, Brian, approached me at my work and asked me, are you Sarah's boyfriend? I said, yeah, and asked what he wanted. He said he was sorry that he had slept with her and swore he didn't know that she was with someone. 
He then pulled out his phone to show the text between them, and they came to an agreement to just pretend the baby was mine. In return, she wouldn't lose her perfect life, and he wouldn't be responsible for a baby. I started packing up my stuff to leave. She asked where I was going, and I told her. I know I'm not baby name's father. You can act all shocked, but I know. Just ask Brian to come. I'm positive he'll sign the birth certificate. <laughs> then I left. She's been calling my phone over and over, even sending texts as I type it. Oh my God. If you miss the shot, we're breaking up. And this next one really did piss me off that some people really think that this is such a horrible red flag when I think it's actually an easier, more chill lifestyle. I guess being a housewife and providing for your family is now deemed as like slavery while working a full-time job 40 hours a week is like liberation. It makes no sense. I love that he's like, yeah, pursue your hobbies and things that you're actually interested in and passionate about. But when we have kids, I would love if you stayed home with the kids. And she's like, heck yeah, I'll stay home with the kids. Are you kidding? Yeah, you go and do the work and I'll do that. What a great video. Let's read the comments. The number one one comment is uh this is such a red flag what what and 15,500 people said yep that is a total red flag the fact that a man wants to go work as hard as he can to provide for you and your children while you stay home and just take care of the household that's a red flag to you and this next one we have this guy i don't know why he went instagram live to talk about this but i guess his girlfriend caught him cheating with the whole other guy and he went instagram live for a couple seconds to state this and i think he just embarrassed himself Man, I'm finna go live, man. I ain't do nothing with that dude, man. Man, that nigga fucking my life up so bad right now, man. I never did nothing with this man. I swear to God, man, I never did nothing with this man. Yeah, what you get? And this next one, this girl got absolutely rejected by this guy. I think she wanted to do something first, like a kiss or something, and he rejected it. And then she ends up saying this. Uh, she just kind of ruined the entire situation. Okay, Stormzy. Yo. Hello. What's happening? Can you just give me a kiss on the cheek, please? Ooh, my no. missus ain't gonna like no, that Maya, one. No, no, sorry. Can I shake your hand? I'm so sorry. That's I'm an old woman. No, it's so, I know, it's so alright. It's alright. You can have a hug, though. Thank you. Thank you so much. You okay? You enjoy it? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. You okay? Hello. In this next one we have this guy i guess he's refusing to pay i guess she's very surprised to the fact that he's not doing it and she's like wait why aren't you paying saying that's only 50 dollars and he's like he always pays i'm not gonna lie he shouldn't have made this expectation at the end of the date i mean clearly they've been dating for quite some time so she's used to i guess him paying but doing this right after they're all done eating isn't isn't a good thing this guy should have just paid if i'm being honest and had a conversation with her later about it what you handing me this for you're trying to pay for the food is who turn to pay for the food? Okay. Why would he not turn to pay for the food when I'm here with my man? Because I always pay for the food. I can't hear you what? I always pay for the food. You always pay for the food? Yeah. I always pay for the food. I ain't paying for it. Best. You not paying for it? No, it's, it's only $50. I pay for it. Well, pay for it. Yeah. Why would I have to pay for anything if I'm here with my man? You are my man. You're supposed to pay for everything. I don't pay for everything else, so you can pay for the food. You what? I don't pay for everything else. So I got to pay you. I got to go in my pocketbook and get out $50. You can't pay $50? Nope. Okay, well, I'm leaving then. What? Oh, you might as well go ahead and call the server and see who going to wash dishes because it ain't going to be me. I'm not paying $50 for this. You should. What? I ain't either. You ain't either? I can't for this. Okay. He said he's not paying for it. So, so what he needed, what he said that I'm the woman, he been paying for everything all weekend, and now he want me to pay for it, and it's only fifty dollars. Sit back, son, so he can. It's only fifty dollars. So what you think? Which you want me to pay for it? Nah, he need to go watch dishes or something, right? Now, for my favorite clip on the list, guys, basically this girlfriend, I guess, just was going absolutely wild because this guy caught her phone and was, you know, finding out if she was cheating or not. With this reaction, she definitely was. I don't care. You don't act this way without cheating, that's for sure. I took my girlfriend's oh, phone yeah, we'll and back locked back. myself in the car. Why are you taking it? Give it to me. Back off. Give it to me. Yeah. Nah, what is this? Give me now! Give me now! If you don't stop right now, I'm breaking up with you. Give me my phone. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Why are you Give so mad? Now. 
No. Give me, I'm crazy. Give me my phone right now. No. Stop. I'm off of a melon. Stop. Give me. Mm -mm. Give me here. Oh my God. <laughs> With that, those are you guys to go watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.